Hey guys, welcome. This is our Battlefield Extended Review Discussion. I wouldn't say. Look, look. What? This finally came out and released, so I guess it's... Oh, you mean the, the rest of <laughs> The rest of the game finally came out? It's, not, it's not even the rest of the game. You still, you still got combined arms. Oh, oh my see, that god, it's still, still not even out. There's still okay. more stuff. So maybe we should no. hold off on this? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I am reviewing the rest of this game now. The re the con <laughs> Just because, you know, the content in there said Ties of War coming soon, December 6th, Practice Range coming soon this or this and, and i was like you know i was actually in the review i made this joke where it's like ea it's in the game and then i showed these these particular things but it didn't work because it was ea sports it's yeah. in the game yeah. but you get you get, you the, get the idea yeah. <laughs> uh so yeah so we're gonna review the rest of the content for the rest of the game see if the review score goes up they've made improvements uh some stability improvements bug fixes like I don't know if I can give you that much credit for that, but we'll talk about the condition of the game right now. And also, since we're doing this, we might as well talk about uh, some of the things we didn't cover in the review, even though it was a lengthy 45 minutes. Uh, stuff like attrition, fortifications, uh, squad lead. I might have covered that one, but let's start with attrition real quick first. I really liked it. Uh, I like the scarcity. Um, you know, it was it worked for me at the end after they balanced it. Yeah. In the beta, it was way, way over the top. Like, you'd be sent into battle with, like, a magazine in your gun and one extra magazine. Yeah. And with some of the weapons, you were like, <laughs> And then shit, you people. just throw your gun at you, like, immediately. Right. I'm glad you guys call it a magazine because yep. it's not a You clip. wait for that. You're like, everybody, <laughs> everybody used to give me shit on that, but now I've learned it. Now I give other shit. Yep. It's a magazine. Anyway, it's balanced nicely. Uh, but what about fortifications? I really never They're used. not really a thing. <laughs> yeah. Like. I mean, when I was they trying, are a thing. They are a thing, but they're not really ever used. Mm -hmm. And honestly, they they could have been done way better, but they're not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. They're just I don't mind. Like, I actually I like it. Yeah. But I this just guy liked it too much. And one mission. Well, he, you or, told me what? let's test out fortifications. That's all so he did for thirty game. minutes. I just hit sandbags, and I was only able to build one point. So it's really slow. And he was in second place. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was at the top of the chart, just sitting there building fortifications. <laughs> like, we were getting attacked <laughs> on the point. I was like, not my job. <laughs> not my job. <laughs> uh, but I do like fortifications, but I don't think they work in all modes. Uh, you know, they should probably be limited to certain modes. All maps is fine, but but certain modes, you know, you, you build it up, then your whole team goes somewhere else, and then the enemy grabs your fortification. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> and uses it yep. against you. But, hey, that's kind of the way war was. So yeah. we like the attrition system. Ultimately, we like the fortification system, but it's not like this game changer that, that really adds to it. So that's why those we didn't really talk much about those two systems. I love calling in v, V2 rockets. <sighs> Even though every time I freaking get one to call in as a squad lead, I get shot and I can't freaking as as deploy it. In, yeah. I wish I could just deploy it on the map like a Call of Duty type of thing, but that might have been too easy and not appropriate for World War II. I don't it's know. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so uh, that's pretty much it, I think, from the original points that uh, we might have missed from the original game. Uh, I did want to say that I can't see the mini compass in the small. It's like real small small in the left hand corner and you've got uh, you know uh, number directions and 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 the yeah. compass and I just love it in these games and I think Battlefield is a perfect game because it's more tactical, strategic, where you see enemies, especially with the spotting system. That's yep. another thing. I do like the fact that we're not shooting at Doritos all the time. I think that's a positive change where there's a few mechanics that when you're suppressing somebody, it does spot, it does them spot on, the Doritos on, on yeah. that. Uh, but it's not just automatically there all the time and you're spamming Q. It's done more naturally now. Uh, but I wish that they would have put that compass more visible, like at the bottom of the screen for all players, because there's just that feeling of like you're you're in a real war when, especially like in squad where it's like I got I got enemies one five zero one five zero. Whoa. Ooh. What was that? Uh, RPG uh, right side eight. of the road. One two eight. One two eight. One two eight. Got it. Got it. Looking. Hit him with H E. Where's Joe at? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 o
and then the, the whole squad converges Yeah, when you're on calling that, that out, I'm looking all over. I was like, where's the map? Where's the map? And I keep forgetting it's the bottom little corner. Yeah. I was like, yeah. it's, I need it's, something bigger. It's kind of tough Goodbye. to see. And, and Battlefield has always <laughs> been the more sort of warlike, realistic <laughs> one. And we're getting these simulations now, squad postscriptum. Yeah. And I think that that's one of the really fun, positive things from those games that, that, that Battlefield might be able to evolve into. To be fair, half rock. the time, though, you die way too fast to be yeah. able to really figure oh, out what's going Oh, in this on. Battlefield, yeah. sure. The time to kill time. So this update included a bunch of different fixes. It didn't touch time to kill or time to death. They said that we've heard, they've heard yeah. their feedback on that. They're probably going to test some things out. Uh, but it did fix that that turret, you know, thing, where it wouldn't you know, turn, yeah. yeah. And 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 uh, it fixed some of the never-ending matches, so it is improving uh, yeah. some of the stability. But I'm not going to give you guys too much credit for that because like that shouldn't have been in the game in no, the first place. No, that shouldn't place. have been made it past beta. Uh, so, but but let's focus in now on. But oh my God, I have to talk about this. I just remembered. So. Uh, and, and I'm a little embarrassed now because in the review, I said, oh, I really liked the campaign. You know, yeah. I liked the French story with the French soldiers. And I said the Norway one was particularly good and I liked it. Yeah. Uh, well, that was before a, a few of you in the comments had mentioned to me. Uh, there was a video that talked to many different people talked about it where yep. that sh that was based on on real events and yep. I didn't know this yep. and so when I read that I was like this was a real commando team that actually destroyed that heavy water facility without even a shot being without fired firing a single shot. Damn, real fucking people intense. yes and so and and when you're now when you're doing that that feels I, I'm like what you know that's that's you can't do that. It's disrespectful. That's revisionist yeah. type of history. I have yeah. no problem with you making original stories, nonfiction yeah. and fiction and all that stuff yeah. where, you know, I want to create new characters so you can bond with these and mm -hmm. they participate in the war or known battles. But when you completely ignore these men that put their lives at risk and men died. There yeah. was a commando team that went in before and that died. died yeah. That was actually correct. They got that part right where mm -hmm. there was a commando team that had died beforehand. But now they let, let this 15, 16 year old girl and, and her, her mother mom. completely destroy a Nazi the facility. Hydrogen, yeah, that was the hydrogen facility. And it was like hard water, heavy the, water. The guys that actually went and did that pretty much prevented them from getting to a bomb that yeah. could have possibly ended the war. And, and when I learned that, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, not only could this have been an amazing yep. learning opportunity for everybody that plays the game, mm -hmm. it could have done honor to those soldiers. Because I, since I didn't know the story, that is a perfect untold story. Yeah. And what did you do? You say you want to tell untold stories. And what did they do? They ignored the real yep. untold story and made up some shit about. And, and it doesn't even matter that they're women. It could be a 15-year-old boy and, yep. and his father. You know, you. You, when you are when real shit happened, you have to be very careful yeah. on how you show that real shit that happened. Now, some of I might have said, or you know, when I first heard that, I was like, well, maybe the mission wouldn't have been that good if they didn't fire a it shot. It would have been hard for me, right? impossible. Yeah, because you, you suck at stealth. <laughs> yeah. But no, I would have said, you know what, that mission, you're right, would not be fun to play. And so maybe they didn't, maybe they changed it for that. And then I thought about it more. Just because they didn't fire a shot doesn't mean you can't then take those events and do inspired by. Yeah. So you could be that commando team that went in, but instead there there are gunfights that yeah. you go through, something goes wrong, and then at the end of the mission, you know how they write all that yeah, text? They the text wall, well, yeah. they could have said, you know this mission you just played? Well, this was real, and these commandos actually went in there, and they and they didn't even have See, to fire a shot. They nice. were so good, they that didn't have to fire They were so a badass, yeah. they didn't have to fucking fire shot instead not did not only did you ignore their story when i figured that out I, it felt disrespectful to me yeah you know? it was and 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 now i'm starting to see you know a little bit of that it's like well what was the purpose you know just because they wanted a female in there yep. and that's fine look because you're gonna get all the the women haters riled up but there's also a point from the people that wanted the historical accuracy yeah. and then there were two separate groups though it was hard to tell between some of them but for that group what would have pleased everybody is if you had done the female stories that actually existed you know real yeah. female snipers like the russian snipers 
Uh, oh yeah, movie, yeah. Like in the movie, there was a movie done after one of them, a- Enemy, at, Enemy the at the Gate. With and you know she worked with Vasily Zaitsev mm-hmm. and a bunch of other stuff, and it was just you had an actual army with a bunch of women serving in mm-hmm. it, and instead you disrespect a bunch of other yeah. people who actually fought in the war to fit your agenda, and it's like exactly. you had a chance, you had an actual. And this opportunity. is this is huge, yeah. and I missed it, guy, because I didn't even know about that particular story, and and there's stuff like that in Enemy at the Gates example yep, for you, movie. Uh, and and there was a, a a woman who her husband got killed by the Nazis, and she went to the Russian government because she wanted to just yeah. attack them back, and she was demanding a tank, and and they relented yeah. on her. There, there was also one of the, and they gave her a tank and she would run out there one of the deadliest snipers and soldiers in the entire war was a polish sniper who was a woman that went around and just killed you everybody. see so if yep. they would have been doing the that then i think that stories. you could have had your hey females participated in the war too as resistance fighters and things here and there so why did you so if you wanted to tell these untold stories why didn't you tell the untold stories instead you made up shit and it just looks like it looks embarrassing like a, just yep. a, a half-assed political agenda kind of thing that they were pushing into the game um while actually ignoring not only the real exploits of 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 men and heroes but also women who are also heroes so i missed that and i didn't know about it and so that's what it really upset me because you know that may be happening to other people who may play the game i was like oh this must have happened this must have been based on real events or something (laughs) like that you know, and you could have had that learning You're opportunity. You're hiding the truth from you. Yeah. Now, now that French one is a little bit more accurate, yeah. right? And I thought they did a good job on that one. And ultimately, that one was a good one. And I saw people saying, "Oh, they're no, they were they French never France never did them dirty, and and people they they weren't racist. They were well respected." Um, I was like, mm. "Yeah, they're." It's, it's yeah, there. there were some people that will look at them and be like, there are others, okay, especially with the times. And while France may have put them out in the, there in, in parades and things like that, I, I actually think that, you know, they were saying that they got moved from the, the liberation and then, you know, they were in another part mm-hmm. fighting was intentional so they wouldn't be in the parade. I think they were just in another part fighting. But yeah. what was fucked up was that they never paid them their pensions. Mm-hmm. And that is messed up because to put yeah. your life on the line like that and Nothing. never get your, you know, your damn pension, uh, you just feel completely disrespected after everything that you did. Now, eventually they solved that. But while they weren't being paid their, pen- their pensions, it just showed you how, you know, they maybe were being forgotten and disrespected by some people. So but that that they're, they've been recently honored, I think, in the 2000s even and stuff. So that was a good story. So you ki- so you see what I'm saying? You got that one right. And of course, that one's fixed. Fictionalized. I'm not sure there was a brother with another brother who wanted yep. to go over there. Uh, of course, it was fictionalized, especially when they take that fortification. Um, but each one of these stories, except for that one, had problems with it. Even the British commandos. They, they made this implication that they're all criminals and murderers or something. Yeah, every single one of them. All like, of them. <laughs> and it's like, no, you, they mixed in normal people with them so they would have leadership and guidance. It yeah. wasn't just criminals. When, when, you, when you watch the, this video and, uh, and, and, and then you actually read the history, you see that they did roll units of yeah. really good soldiers into these, obviously. Yeah. And, and I don't know why they depicted it in these certain ways. Uh, so they really need to hire a new writing team or something slap them across the face and say, look, we can do that, but we can also honor these people who, you know, fought in this real war. Or so. just don't market it as something it isn't. I mean, that, there you go. that's probably that's the easiest thing. Do there whatever you, you want. Just don't say it's something it's not. It's or point. or it's don't, don't, go, don't go too far <laughs> when, what was it? The, the CEO's like 12-year-old daughter was like, why can't I be in World War II? <laughs> well, that's when you, you pull your daughter inside. That's because you're 12 and this happened in 1940. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, 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 so back then, honey, you know, uh, most of the fighters were men, but there were women. You know, yeah. but, but instead, I guess they went so so far in they this direction so far. where yeah. so so now uh you know after having learned some of that you look at the campaign and you just you're like what okay so we went on a tangent here but it was a necessary one yep. because it was something that i discovered after the fact and and fucking ea managed to embarrass me and and uh when it was a perfect learning opportunity so what about this current update guys do you think that it makes the game better what is in it 
Um, they added the new tiger, or the last tiger, the last and they tiger. added the mm-hmm. the Maps. the map. New, uh, one new map. Okay. And Panzer? three guns. Yeah. Three guns, right? Yeah. So uh, it's tides of war mode. With an Let's asterisk on that. Yeah. Why? Isn't it like two new guns? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah one war. is one is from Battlefield One, <laughs> the yep. 1906, I think, or something like that. Uh, but the tides of war mode, you go along this progression path, and you get a reward. One is the uh, Vickers gun, and then and then one is a a helmet, an epic helmet. Yeah, an epic, epic helmet. Are you talking helmet. about the Predator helmet? No, no, no. There's, there <laughs> needs to be a Predator vari- variation of it. Uh, and then there's, uh, the, and then there's another gun and a gun after that. I think like a skin or something. So I was a little underwhelmed. Uh, I, I do like the fact that there's three new guns. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but one of them is, you know from battlefield one and we're getting these obscure ones like i'm reading them and it's like yep. the 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 swedish experimented with this gun but it wasn't good enough so they got rid of it and this was a prototype we're i don't only believe you i'm gonna go yeah i know <laughs> and all these and other then, r- and then they're also like it's possible it's people <laughs> had these guns here's a laser gun it's they were after what you're doing with the campaign it. shit i don't know what you're saying. okay but you know what I'm saying? That could have been the opportunity to give us some of the more well-known guns yeah. in War Two, and I don't know if they're saving it for later, like the you know the Garand or or what. But uh, you know, because I mean, yep. it's you so need unique. It. You need. I love it. that sound. Um, so okay, and then the last tiger. What did you think of the last tiger? I thought that it was really well done, and I wish it was there from the very beginning. Oh yeah, that's something that should have been there in the very beginning, and it was. It was like finished enough that I think you and I both agreed at one point that th- this was done. It oh, was. yeah. They it cut it off. That, it, see, that's the problem with this live service stuff. I do want to talk about The Last Tiger, yeah. but I need to make this point. I think this live service thing is a joke, and, mm-hmm. and EA is twisting it and, and, and presenting it like it's one thing when it's really another. Because with such little content at launch and some of these issues, I'm sure DICE is strained. We've mm-hmm. already talked about that. Oh, yeah. But also, it feels that the content was just taken out yep. and then put for later. Let's let's get into this practice range. Let's take this last thing just so it can go with Tides of War. So Tides of War makes it feel like it's more impactful. Hell, even Tides of War, Panzer Storm is the I map. I feel like they, was it, was done. Done. it was done. It was done already. already. So uh, I do like the take. I was like, I, I was thinking, I thought it was brave. I was like, I don't think we've played in a World War II game where you're playing as a German or there's a German campaign. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, shit, how are they going to do this if you're like Nazis? But, you, you know, they they handle it well where he starts to question what's going on around him. Not only is it cool because it's a tank mission, mm-hmm. but it's also, you know, it, it, I think it handles that kind of well. But again, with EA, well, I better look this up before I start to, yeah, uh, to see. To. But no, there were people within uh, the German military that were probably questioning some of the things that they were doing. Yep. They um, were sitting there, and I, I like the way they did the campaign where, you know, partway through, they were like, Hans, are these the baddies? <laughs> Hans, Hans, are these the baddies? <laughs> yeah, so they, 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 they did something like that. Um, and then, uh, so what did you think of Panzerstorm, Joe? Did you like this this map? I really enjoyed this map. It was a wide open, and this, me and this guy had a great time in the vehicles. That's oh, about, yeah, yeah. yeah the that's... Best yeah, it's the best vehicle map. Yeah, that's oh. what I got to say is it's the best vehicle map, but as an infantry, it just kind of sucks because it's so big and wide apart. It's wide I don't think it sucks as infantry. I always hop into Wagen, and then yeah. I drive around with the machine gunner, and, I, and then I see Joe slump over, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I know I'm dead next. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I think it's a cool map, and this is the kind of battlefield that I miss, some of these things here, and the tanks can hang back and, yep. and fire at each other. So and But again, this map was probably there for a number. It was. It was. Um, and uh, but one thing that I noticed, I was like, it's wide open spaces, so you can actually have dog fights now yeah. and, and and move around. But not really. No, because no, because everybody that grabs a tank can grab an anti aircraft tank, mm-hmm. and they are really really strong. So they, I they was did just, buff them. But yeah, I think it was a buff against infantry. But these I was things- sitting in spawn with a tank I grabbed because I had the flak. Uh, flag panzer or whatever and planes would spawn and i would just kill them from across the map in yeah. seconds like because each one of those shots is, is explosive really yeah. freaking and there's just nothing they could do about it and so i thought oh yeah planes are going to be dog fighting doing stuff yeah, and they were just no, done no. instant dead instant dead every time they spawned yeah still not so um uh, so battlefield still missing that that kind of element i mean it's there yep. but you're going to get in trouble fast maybe if they limited it to only two anti tank aircraft tanks at a time or one i don't yeah. know it it would help out um but yeah. missing the best part what's the best part 
Uh, we got practice range, which oh, is God. the best yeah, thing we ever. Got the practice range, it's true. Really, Joe? <laughs> really? Come on. <laughs> no, he got, got good. You could, you could uh, use all your equipment and guns that you you did all and the practice. attachments yeah. and practice. No, no? you can't do okay, any no. of that, Joe. Uh, well, well, you could. Um, it's fucking check useless. Out new skins? <laughs> no, 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 you can't. No, do that okay. <laughs> So oh, practice range, we were making fun of it because I thought that, you know, this is a good opportunity to try the modifications yeah. and, the, and oh, well, I'm not no normally a pilot, but what can I get as a pilot and, and go down those tech trees and see what's going on. Uh, but it's very limited in what you can do. It, and it's it almost feels why it's was a this, disappointment. Why was this even delayed? I don't know. Uh, like I said, it's yeah. it, all EA. It's, it's, it's a live service, Joe, and they're constantly providing you new content all the time. Um, I do like the idea that there's something new every week, though. I mean, on that Tides of War, it's like this week there's this, and then then you next week is the Epic Predator helmet. But are we getting new maps and every the next week? week? Is See, that's the thing. Yeah. That would be insane. That would be cool. I don't expect something like that, but that would be insane. But the problem is with these things that you're doing these maps every week, and I think it goes all the way out to January 5th is where the last uh, gun unlock is, um, is that all, what the fuck is wrong with the Battlefield Five servers that all of them are on this eight-map rotation? Ugh. There's not a single one where it's yeah. like, I want to play that new map. Just you just Panzer release a new map. Only. You can't just play no. that map only. You have to do because they always cycle all. It's like, what happened to the servers, They man? decided that we weren't responsible enough to have our own servers. I know, which is And fucked. EA wants to control everything, fucking okay? Hate it. Back, you remember back in the glory days, the angry army like would buy servers, servers yeah, yeah, for Battlefield 4. We had like a 24-7 operation locker. Where, where it did was that like go? Tons of like 40v40 infantry fights. Where did it go, shit. Joe? It's I want to give them money. It's in the cloud. And they, and they don't want to take money, it's so it doesn't make sense to me. Bring back those types of servers so we could set our own freaking maps, our own ways that we want to play. Yeah, because right now it's not working it. for us. We're, we're waiting for like three to four minutes. This, and yeah. even once to get we, in a match. Yeah, once we do get in a match... Somehow, I always get booted out. I get kicked out, disconnected, oh, right. so then I got to rejoin. Yeah. I got to queue up again with you guys. Yeah. And not only it's that, not and fun. then even if you're not disconnecting, half your squad will come in, and the other two are still sitting Stuck in the damn it, queue. Yeah. Why? Because all the freaking servers, especially on the, the new map and the most popular ones, are all 64, and yet there's no servers that have, like, 15 or 32 nope. or it's anything like that. Or it, whatever a logarithm, AI logarithm, is controlling how many servers they're running at a time is so super efficient because EA is probably penny pitching, yep. you know, that it, it it's working too well <laughs> and it's just. It's not optimized for, for, you know, people that want to play in teams and together. Open yeah. up new servers or, or lax on that restriction a little also bit. Also, in regard to, like, the going through all the maps in rotational order, it's, I mean, like, half of them are subpar and unenjoyable yeah. to us at this time. I, I would say more than half. I'm done with And that. I just don't want to play them. And so, like, you get into those maps and, you know, some maps, like the the – mountain pass when we were playing with yeah. blizzard will be fantastic yeah and i then, wanted to call that yeah. out we while some of these maps we're sick of but this rotation is ruining it but but sometimes and that's not even the map stuff that's the weather system that yep. made that, that map made amazing. That a really amazing and yeah. I, when we were testing this out for review we had one of those epic battlefield moments where everything was going right yep. and at by the end of the session i was like was that good that yeah. was good we were all like that's why we play battlefield that was good Enough to make Dell play yeah. again. <laughs> Multiple enemies coming in on our position. 315. Everyone, rocket on that position. Everyone, rocket is coming in. Danger close. Danger close. But I got four of them. I think. <laughs> See, this is what I consider 10 out of 10 gameplay. I'm having so much fun. When you got the full squad, when you're cooperating, there's moments of Battlefield that are fucking amazing that there you is. can't get you know, anywhere else. Do you agree that was fucking fun, Joe? It was. Dell, do you agree that was fucking fun? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fine. No, it was it's fucking hard fun. Hard audience right there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, and, and I, I a lot of people, you know, uh, since my review will come to the stream, they'll see me play Battlefield Five. They're like, "What are you doing? Why are you playing that game? You fucking, you hate it." 
you say you hate it. And I was like, I never, never said I hate it. And in fact, I said the opposite. I said, I am a Battlefield fanboy. This is my favorite military franchise. I'm giving this tough love because I'm seeing it go in the wrong direction. It's coming out lacking content. And this live service model, I think, is is, is a smokescreen. Yep. And, and they really need to give DICE more time. I think mean, EA is at fault here. Uh, and, and partly DICE, especially with some of that revisionist shit. Like, I don't yeah. know what that was about. But, you know, give DICE more time on these. I think they need at minimum two years, mi two and a half years. Yep. But like we've seen, they're being forced to release a game every single year. Every, every single, single year. year. Yeah. You don't need to take a break. To give I them mean, they were, they were working on Battlefront every other year. Battlefield when they weren't on Battlefront. I mean, it, it was what? It was Battlefield uh, 5, then Battlefront 2 last mm -hmm. year, and then Battlefield 1 the year before that, then Battlefront 1. It's like they don't get any time to focus on the game. And EA's, that's why the UI and everything is the same in their last like right. four games, too. Because they're like, we don't have time to do battle, it over again. Star Wars Battlefront yep, shit. They just copy paste it because they're right. like, you got 360 they days. They take to the same it. guy that did the UI there, and I yep. bet you he's, he did this one. I yeah. bet they just you don't anything. have the time to make the game good, and right. that's the problem. Uh, and, and so while we had that amazing match and we were all so happy and that we were all cooperating, it felt so fucking fun. The very na the very next match, it was it was awful. None of us were having fun. Yeah. It was It was, it was terrible. We were playing. A, it was it a very it lopsided. Was one too. of the yeah. what the map. Oh, the lopsided. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember what it was. It was like the map with a church, but it was like so one-sided. And that's another and that, thing. Yeah, yeah, because they implemented – There's there was a fix that – I didn't know if you know this, but there was like a catch-up mechanic for the losing team in the game where the AI would like let, the, let them cap – points or faster. flags faster and that would lead to closer games i actually didn't have a problem I with this either. i liked the way the games were being really close but i guess some people complain that ah, you know we can't beat these people in the submission so they they did something with it well now they're lopsided you know victories, oh yeah and you, I'm you, like, get Damn. 100, you get 100 tickets down and you're just like well match is over yeah, and, and what, so, what, why are we losing so much? And then I go and look at the scoreboard, and there's like 1050s on one side, and there's yep. like 250s on our they, side. They, you know, for everything they do with their matchmaking, they don't have like a, a ranking system or anything like that. So mm -hmm. it's not impossible for one team to have mostly max ranked people, and then the right. other team yeah. to have like 10s and 13s. It's crazy, and you'll yep. see it like half my half our team dropped at the end of that match. Like yep. they were not having Quitters. fun. In it. So, well, no, I would <laughs> I would barely want to put up with that. Anyways, so, but that that session that we had reviewing this expansion, expansion, this rest of the game that came <laughs> out is is a perfect example of Battlefield Five in a capsule, in a, in a nutshell. You, amazing experiences that you can have nowhere else that you just feel part of a team in a real war, and then the very next yep. one, it's inconsistent. It's just few and far between. You know, two or three maps in a row will be, like, boring, and you won't enjoy it. And then you'll get that one map, that one experience, and you're like, yeah, and then it brings you up to that high, and then the very next game, it's like, oh. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and, and, and I expected them to bring more skins and, and more things like that. There's, there's, a, there's like, two or three, I think, new ones uh, that, that you could find in there. But uh, they even have an American American thing, like, and I'm like, oh, yeah. You can, no, Is it's it just teasing a skin. you, maybe? It's a tent, skin. Yeah, I'm ho I, hopefully. But I don't think they have the manpower or work or no. time to go in and nope. do a Russia or go in and do well, a Japan. I mean, you, or you can see their America roadmap. might come, but I but it would be pretty limited. Yeah, you can see their roadmap for like the next few months, and there's like no major midway battles or mm -hmm. anything like that. And it's like, oh. you know, I appreciate the maps that they're giving us, like because we deserve them for paying what we did, but yeah. they could have picked better battles, like something that people recognize, and they're just not. So I don't think it's ever going to come. Speaking of paying what we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, previous owners of Battlefield, you could buy it for 50% off. God damn. damn. Only $30. Well, Only in that $30. case, in that, I'm going to be honest. In that case, I think it's kind of worth it. At, at, with this expand, with the rest of the content in the game, it's worth it. Get, me, get us those combined arms that call. But I wanted there. to pay $30. I paid yeah, I know, price. right? <laughs> Do we pay Do full I get price? A, I what get the fuck? 
Can I get a refund? Or give me some points. Oh, because I'm like a loyal that. Battlefield player, and I'm going to buy it. I get punished. No, yes. go, it's, sorry. You waited. You should have waited two weeks. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I got to do the review, though, and they're not giving me codes no more. So. No, they are not. No, they are not. <laughs> uh, but so, but you, feel, you see that, and that actually reveals something. Because that sale, 50% off sale, is only for Battlefield 1 players or previous players that bought Battlefield, what does that tell you? That the Battlefield fans aren't hit. That even the, the, ba- that the bar for Battlefield 1 was like here, and the bar for this Battlefield is like here. And they, they're like, how? Wh- we need these guys. We know yep. they play, so let's do a sale specifically for them. So that proves that this Battlefield is underperforming. And oh, massively. Massively. Yeah. So I and I, uh, ultimately, I think it was because of the – Terrible marketing, which we talked about in the review, uh, and and the blowback on the internet, yep. and the fact that they're doing the untold stories without any of the recognizable stuff in it, um, and and then basically coming out in the condition that it came out. You can clearly tell Dice yep. was overworked. It wasn't finished. It was half-baked, half-cooked, uh, a lot of glitches and bugs, and missing content. So... Uh, and the progression system is so garbage. Nobody it feels again. We said it. We, it feels like they took microtransactions out. Like oh, they added like, the tank customization. Yep, they in, finally so this added is, that. But okay. Again, it's like thirteen thousand credits for a single right. color on your tank, and it's like I could unlock five guns with that or buy a oh, color, and it's yeah. like no. Yeah. Or, or why the would why would you and the things that we actually need and use? Yeah. Why would you ever spend like? 20 hours of playing on a color. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Blue! <laughs> yeah, blue! It was, yeah, it was a nice like, color, though. No, yeah. no. no. You guarantee I know you that, like was like, that was like four bucks before, and then they were like, ooh, Battlefront. Yeah. Let's yeah. just make that current. Yeah, we talked about it. That I think that's why credits are doled out so slowly, and it feels like they're stretching everything. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, and, yeah. And, and, and that economy just seems messed up uh, with these unlocks. Even though there's cool things in it, it's just why are we using the same currency for these things? I want them to go back to if you're good with a gun and you're constantly you staying with free. that gun, you start you to unlock a new colors, new stuff. things for that gun. I mean, Instead hell, not, the, even, not even the colors. They and then the credit make, should be yeah. used for e- uh, either unlocking the gun's attachments or the customization. Not both. It needs okay? to be one or the other. And I think, honestly, in Battlefield 4 and 3 and Bad Company, you unlocked the attachments and the things that made it better for doing well with the gun. And that's mm-hmm. what they should have done. And, and don't tell me there's not enough World War II weapons or these things. Not. Because there clearly is in order to do these things. They're even putting hollow sights. I'm, I'm yeah. pretty fucking sure I saw a hollow sight on that. that you can on some gun. of them, yeah. Yeah. So they can do it. And if you're doing this alternate history. Now, they did dial back because notice we didn't see anybody with a cyber arm running around. You know, nope, no cyber or a uh, cricket bat. No, I think the bat is still in no there. No katanas. No katanas. You don't right. get a katana. Sweet, <laughs> but see, if you're going to do that, that's fine, Dice. But you can't fuck with World War II in that way and then want to do untold stories and tell us fake stories and then put in these kinds of yeah. cybernetic bullshit. If you want to do alternate <laughs> World War II, I think that'd be fucking cool. Like if the Nazis invaded mainland USA. Steampunk. And we're, and we're fighting like that on that. Sort of crazy shit. That, yeah. that would, your creativity could go and you could do anything so maybe use that as the next idea for battlefield maybe do something completely different like that or our idea of the battlefield uh, you know bad company three or i want twenty one forty three. i know you want that and i want bad company three but i think the best thing for it is something completely new and original yep. in an alternate thing but because they got so much blowback from the alternate world war ii they're probably scared of it now yeah yeah you know but I mean, they did it poorly that's the problem Yep. If they had done it right, then nobody would, would do it. Anyways, so we talked a lot. Video is getting long. This is an extended discussion. But let's give a final verdict for the update now that the rest of the content is out. Uh, Dell, what would you give Battlefield Five in its current state? I gave it a four before. Mm-hmm. Um, I, with the extra stuff, if – I mean, if they had added combined arms, if everything that you paid for was in the game right now, I think yeah. I could go up to a five. But I think but you don't think it's better? Sounds like you're going to stay at a four. I'm going to stay at a four because, huh. honestly, it's just kind of insulting for them to cut the content out and everything. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, they're adding it, but, like, I already paid for it. Why am I waiting? Mm-hmm. Like, 
I don't know. And, you know, I, I, I thought about it a lot, and I just can't give them the extra point mm-hmm. because there's still shit that's not in the game. There's still major issues with the it. The stuff that you got was – Already supposed to be there, like Last Tiger, yeah, which and, is great. And, but... and a lot of the, like the Last Tiger and the Panzer Storm, good. But things like the firing range actually are worse. It feels like we shouldn't have even waited for that. Why was that yeah, there? Yeah, there's no point And they to still wait. haven't addressed like, oh, I don't get to progress. And for me, when I play Battlefields, I need that carrot on a stick. I need, I need to feel like I'm accomplishing something when I'm doing things in the game. Like, oh, I just got a new attachment. Sweet. Put it on right yeah, then yeah. and there. And they haven't fixed any no, of that. No, there's still bugs in the progression. I got so fucking yep. pissed off. Oh, it was yeah. working two nights ago and then last night when we were playing it was not progressing yep. down along that line and and one of them i went down the really hard path because i was trying to give everybody ammo boxes I was like yep. take from my ammo box and nobody wanted to take from my ammo it said and it said t- 12 team members and we figured out it needed to be unique team members yep. so i was running around trying to give people <laughs> ammo boxes and everybody's ignoring them and doing their own thing and and going back to the supply things i was like so frustrated come to find out it wasn't recording any of them so i switched nope, nope. back to the medic because that was easy or, or just the going back to the resupply stations, the middle one, because that'll get you there quicker. But it wasn't picking up those no, points wasn't. either, and I was getting so fucking pissed. I think, and I gave up because I think my thing is bugged, and it even was showing that I didn't even complete the first one. I was like, what the fuck? So I got really super mad about that. So I understand what you're saying about yep. progression, um, but but you do think the game is better I now think it, than it was? It got better, but I don't think it's enough to give okay. it a whole point. Like Joe? just yeah, they just needed to do it faster. No, I agree with Dell. Uh, we did get more content, but this is content that we should have had from the get-go. Okay. Um, they're just trying to cut out some pieces to increase their longevity of this game. Right. But they could they could go about it some other way, not this mm-hmm. way. Practice range was a joke. Mm-hmm. I didn't. We didn't have to wait for that. Mm-hmm. And the game's still not complete. It to me it doesn't deserve another point to go up. Okay. Yeah. So you're still at five. I'm still at a five. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think I'm a little bit easier than these guys because I am such a Battlefield fanboy. And I've played a little bit more than they have. This is the first time ever. Dell's always the one that plays the most. But I've played this one a lot more because – and I've played with my community. I put some community members in my team. And get, God damn, it's way more fun to play with them than it is YouTube Muppets. Oh, I see. I <laughs> see how it is. Well, they are, they are so loyal fanboys. because they, they listen to They're him. dying they for me. Joe, look at this. Joe, please see you. this. But, it, but you know what? I'm staying true to the Angry <laughs> Joe show. That game needed tough love. And, yes. But I do think – it is better now than it was. I'm not changing my score. That game got a five at release. Yeah. But if you really want, like, the brass nags cut down to it, it's probably more like a six, slightly above average right now a six. But I'm not going to fucking do a review every time they release a yeah, new it, chapter and the rest of the content, like, combine arms, I'm not going to be here. And, and, and well, we, we will try for the uh, Battle Royale, Battle Royale. mode mode yeah. firestorm i'm interested to see how they do that in battlefield 5 but that i don't expect to be in the main package because they announced that slightly that's afterwards later, that's yeah. fine and that's the kind of stuff we should see in the weekly updates yep. and the monthly updates and i'm excited for that because uh, i don't know how it's going to work in battlefield especially with this time to death time to kill yep. like you no, that it will not You're work just gonna you die need, instantly number one time. you need quads but then everybody's just gonna sit here with their shotguns in the in in rooms and wait till you open the door it's gonna yep. without armor of some kind and abilities do you think they're gonna do abilities like little boxes and shit like call of duty no idea i have absolutely yeah. no idea what they're gonna do with it i have no clue i know that it's gonna be a lot smaller it's only like 60 four players because they're not bothering to yeah. increase the player count that would take real work <laughs> but yeah all right guys so battlefield five um there are s- parts of it where we're like we like where it's going but there are more parts the incomplete the games is a live service the direction the, the revisional side. history all this kind yep. of stuff yeah ea side mm-hmm. especially yeah. uh is 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 really ruining the battlefield franchise and and i hope they watched my review uh, so that we can get a better battlefield next time. Um, and, and I hope we get another battlefield. I mean, you'd think they were going to announce one next, or I, I next thought, year. I think there's a chance, but, I mean, I, no. I, I hope might, not. It might not, be Battlefront not. 3, okay? No. 
No, I think it's like some called hardcore. Because remember when we looked at it, it was like 2019 hardcore. Dice is, you see, they are whipping Dice in his one year. game every year, and they just cannot handle it. And I think Battlefield Five suffered because it's like, why does it so long to 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 fix the turret? Yep. It didn't even get fixed in alpha, beta, and over here, it's like, why does it take it, all these? It feels like you're just buying a reskinned game every fucking year now, like. When we bought Battlefield 1, I remember the first thing we said is, why is this Battlefront? Like, why why does everything look like Battlefront? Right, but that's what's going to happen, yep. Dell. Over the next year or two, they are going to Don't be giving us men. skins, additional battles it. and stuff. Yes, that's what's happening. But hopefully when the new Battlefield comes out, maybe we'll get that wonderful battle log. Y'all remember battle log? Battle log was neat. You never realize what you have until, until you, you lose, lose it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz you you play Battlefield 5 and then and then you're done and you don't look you don't you have, don't have anything to look at. Like, okay, like, cool. Okay. Man, they treated Damn. us well back then, but uh it's going in the wrong direction, guys. Anyways, uh that's our opinion on Battlefield 5, the rest of the game, the update. Uh thank you guys so much for watching and uh we're working on way more stuff, so uh they see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. See you uh, guys. Be sure to subscribe and buy some of our awesome merch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the yes. stuff I'm wearing. We yes. got we got a new hoodie, too. Yeah, so we got a new hoodie. Check that out. <laughs> check it out, guys. Uh, hit the notifications bell and all that stuff. And thank you so much for watching. And we shall see you on the next Angry Joe show. See Bye, guys. guys.